game was uh, pretty... What did you think about that game, Kiki? I think it was kind of interesting. Actually, the last time we saw Miracle on Miracle, they kind of both fizzled out. Yeah, that's true. And uh, this one, instead of both fizzling out, they just kind of both had a bunch of stuff that wasn't really all that effective. Yeah, it seemed more of a board control type of thing, more so than a combo. Yeah. Combo OTK type of thing at the end. Um, okay, so Strife Crow is going to be going with his his tried and true druid. He's, I mean, if there's a class that you're going to pick that really <laughs> defines Strife Crow, it's definitely the druid. And how does this druid, the Watcher druid, match up against the Miracle Rogue? Uh, you know, I haven't obviously I haven't tried Strife's uh, exact list. He's got a he's got a Gnomish Inventor in there, and uh, he likes that Gnomish forces, Inventor. Yeah, two Force of Natures and two Argent Commanders, so. He's got a lot of charge, and you know you can't really ladder without being prepared for miracle. Yeah. So I, I've got to just say, Strife's, you know, probably pretty comfortable with the matchup, but uh, I would not be su super surprised if this matchup isn't particularly great for Druid. Yeah, there's a lot of cards that really match what he added to the Shaman deck. You know, that's a little bit different than your standard Shaman. And when we were interviewing him, he did say that one of the main reasons for some of those mods was the Miracle Rogue matchup. So I'm thinking some of these mods in this Druid deck are, are along the same lines. So it's, it's made to fight this particular deck that Admirable is running. Yeah, definitely, definitely a possibility. And, I mean, even disregarding all of that, Admirable's hand is really not that good. He's got no card draw. Bad. Yeah, it's actually bad. Unless he can get a Gadget Zan here. Uh, it, it, he's going to be stuck. He, he doesn't even have cards that actually, yeah, like you said, they don't even cycle or cantrip or anything. And Strife Crow is sitting on a Druid of the Claw, an Azure Drake, a Keeper of the Grove, and an Arshan Commander. Yeah, and then a giant on top of that, rip of charge stuff. Yeah, he's going <laughs> to have pretty straightforward turns. For the wild. It's kind of what you want from a Druid sometimes. Okay, this is an easy turn. <laughs> <laughs> there actually might have been a case for hitting the three three there, but yeah, I can't can't really see it. Okay, so he ends up sapping the ancient watcher. Yeah, that, I guess that might have been the case for uh, yeah hitting the three three. He's going to be aggressive. He's just going to go for it here. Um, kind of playing what you're dealt, you know, that, that, that sort of style of play. Yeah. And uh, we'll see if Strifeco can counter this. Yeah, I mean, he, he is kind of in that, that, that single card mode, right? And yeah. it's pretty tough to deal with two, two minions like that. He doesn't actually have a great answer to that 7-3. I mean, he's going to silence it and drop it back down to a 3-3, three, three, but yeah, that's not exactly what you wanted to do there. All right, so he's just going full out face here, admirable in face mode for sure. He's got Leroy Jenkins. He's just waiting on too. Um, if he gets a shadow step, man, this could be really quick. Yeah, I mean, uh, Strife, like you said, in play one card and go mode. So okay, so he did draw a swipe. A swipe would allow him to to clear the board, but that's usually not Strife style. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, what? you know, it's not That's exactly Strife style. <laughs> clear the board and play stuff. <laughs> no, I mean just not. I mean, clear the board completely and just not play anything. Uh, uh, I mean, he's got a two-one left, I guess. But yeah, I think, oh, yeah, he uh, does have it. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, he does. I have think it we'll probably see some kind of taunt play, or maybe just draw with the uh, Drake. His hand is kind of clogged, and. It is. Uh, Oh, well, we are going to okay, see him so just gonna do the it. He's going to do that. And, um, let's see what he does here. Yeah, I think you just want to keep the board as, as yeah, clear like a, as possible. That's good for him. He's going he's gonna to get a chance to draw a card here. It's his first, it's the first card he's, he's drawn so far that actually gives him a card draw. Uh, does he just go ahead and eviscerate? Yeah, he just goes for it. So he actually has a draw if uh, Strifeco doesn't throw up a, a Druid of the Claw Taunt. Admiral could actually win on a Shadow Step here. Yeah. I think we'll probably see like an Ancient Watcher Defender Vargas kind of play. Yeah. Maybe just fun. like a Druid of the Claw. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't think there's any way Strife doesn't taunt here. He's basically forced to. Strife 
Try thinking about it. What do you think is better? Do you think the well the ancient watcher is going to be a five six versus a four six? So I, yeah, the, that's probably going to be a better play. The important part is the taunt, right? Yeah, the six toughness taunt. Um, I think if I were going to watch or defender, I'd just drew to the claw because they both lose to the same things that admirable could have. Mm, okay. But uh, I guess he's right. just going to go with the two minions here. Okay, so that's going to make that's going to put a big wrench in Admirable's plans here. He's going to going to be able to draw at least with the the backstab, and he's going to hit. And he's going to be able to remove the taunt here. So do eight, in addition doing two damage there. But we know that Strife has a, another taunt in the form of a Drew of the Claw here, and he's also got the Ancient of Lore possibility that can actually heal him up a little bit if he wants. It's true, but, but then he does have to deal with that Drake and. Mm -hmm. uh, you no, know, he he knows Admirable can't have that much damage left, uh, so we might see something like uh, just a Drew to the Claw charge into the Drake. But well, he could, uh, or, I mean, he could Ar Argent, Argent Commander. Commander. Yeah, he could just Argent Commander and remove it. Yeah, but I think he'll probably want to throw up a taunt. Just thinking from his perspective, he's like, "What ways can I possibly lose next turn?" Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And if he doesn't taunt, then it's like Leroy anything. Uh, like Leroy Eviscerator, oh. Leroy Coldblood. Well, right now he's like, yeah, I mean, right now it's Leroy Coldblood, so uh, he's... Hmm, okay, so he opts to go with the the Argent Commander, not even able to Hero Power to maybe gain one more health here, and he's really close. Admirable's really close to lethal. He was one off there, and doesn't Strike. want to show that he has lethal. I mean, doesn't want to show he has Leroy. He's close to lethal, too. Yeah, he is. He's got, uh, <laughs> he's got the Savage Roar combo, too. Yeah, Strife's got 18 damage uh, to throw down here. Uh, it's going to be interesting. He probably just goes Harvest Golem and Taunt and stays as safe as possible. But uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll see him Ancient of Lore and heal up a little bit. I think I like the... Hmm. Uh, I think the Taunt is going to keep... I mean, he knows that the only way he could potentially die... I mean... Well, is, is Leroy, is right? Stop, potentially. Like, if he if he heals up... Yeah, okay, I, think, so I guess the way he loses is Leroy. So Leroy Coldblood or Leroy Eviscerate or Shadow Step will work. Uh, oh, oh, man. Wow. Admir that is so a bad here. draw for Admirable. Um, and he's... I mean, he's... Uh, just gonna throw down Edwin. And that could be game here with the Savage Roar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With, the, with the Druid of the Claw and Savage Roar, that's going to be game. Yeah, Stryko's going to go up 2-1 here. That actually would have been lethal last year without the extra damage. Yeah, that's right. But, uh, yeah, that's... Man, Admiral just was in top deck mode, needed just a little bit of damage. So... Yeah.